so basically as discussed previously one of the main responsibilities of your icmp packet or your icmp protocol is to report the error messages so these are the four kind of error messages which an icmp protocol gives first is destination unreachable second is packet to bit third is time exceeded and fourth is parameter problems so let us first discuss about destination unreachable so you have this uh, you, uh, you have studied this destination unreachable in icmp version 4 right so it is same as icmp version 4 only so so this is basically the header type with uh, with type as one if type is one it means it is destination unreachable problem code 0 to 6 means in destination unreachable also you have various type of problems so exactly what kind of problem is represented by your code code 0 means no part to destination code 1 means communication with the destination is administratively prohibited code 2 means beyond the scope of source address so for various kind of problem there is an code associated with it so like uh, no part to destination means suppose this is source and this is the receiver and in between you have uh, this router is corresponds to uh, your sender and this uh, router corresponds to your receiver okay but there is no path from r1 to your r2 right and as uh, your sender has sent some datagram now this r1 router has found this uh, datagram but it is not able to uh, able to forward this datagram in any manner to your receiver it is no path to destination so for each and uh, for each of this uh, kind of type of problem you have an code associated with with it and you are going to specify that particular code over here okay checksum is your crc itself that is cyclic redundancy check okay this is the a new space which uh, where you are going to store all zeros okay now uh, see uh, one of the uh, important uh, important messages which icmp version 6 provides is port unreachable we have studied this in udp right in udp packaging you, we have studied about the uh, this type of error that is port unreachable okay so basically only change from icmp version 4 to 6 is that your icmp 4 also provides an error named as source quenching Okay, I hope you have studied the source quenching in your ICMP version 4. Okay, so source quenching error is not given by your ICMP version 6. Okay, this is the main difference to note. Okay, now the next type of error is packet to big. So you know that your IP version 6 does not fragment your packets. Okay, it do not fragment. So uh, unlike your IP, IP version 6 does fragmentation, right? Fragmentation of your packets, but your IP version 6 does not do fragmentation. So if, if there is any kind of packet which exceeds your MTU, that is maximum transmission unit, right? If it exceeds the maximum transmission unit, then the first thing that the router does is to drop that packet and generate a ICMP error packet saying that uh, saying messages packet too big so the type of code so the type number is 2 for packet too big uh, for destination unreachable it was 1 right for packet too big it is 2 type code is uh, type is 2 and code is 0 0 code means packet is too big okay now checksum is uh, same as crc itself and here uh, here it, is, it will be specifying the mtu okay okay the third type of message is time exceeded so before this i hope you have learned what is uh etl that is time to live okay this is this is the time throughout which a data packet can exist within a network suppose this is a network and sender has sent some datagram okay now the state a detail is going to specify the time throughout which this datagram can exist throughout this network as soon as this ttl expires anywhere this uh, packet is being present it will be dropped at that instant only okay so this is time limit exceeded like suppose this is s okay and this is r and in between you have router one two and three okay this is the this is the path till your uh, so uh, till your receiver now suppose uh, suppose at your source ttl is equal to two okay and it has sent some packet 
now at r1 packet becomes one okay packet is going to become one again it is going to send to r2 as soon as r2 receives the ttl is going to become zero now what r2 is going to do at r2 this packet which it uh, which it has uh, which uh, which it has uh, get will be dropped it is going to drop this packet and going to and it is going to send an icmp error message saying that time limit exceeded okay this is what this is what is time exceeded so in this type is 3 okay so this was 1 2 for time limit exceeded it is 3 code is 0 or 1 and checksum is your uh, same as crc okay now next next is parameter problem so what is parameter problem so uh, you know that your data okay your data is going to be uh, enclosed within your ip packet right now this ip packet is going to uh, have some header okay and if if there is any kind of ambiguity present in your header if there is any kind of error present in your header then it will be difficult for this packet to travel through the network right therefore as soon as the router detects any kind of ambiguity here it is going to send an icmp packet error message saying that type equal to 4 it means it is a parameter problem code 0 uh, 0 1 or 2 okay 0 1 or 2 means if it is code 0 it is an erroneous he header file code 1 uh, says that the it is an unrecognized next header type code 2 says that it is an unrecognized ip v6 option okay now uh, these sums ups are error messages uh, error messages part okay